A lot of people are preparing to fight the state over food stamps. It's considering new requirements that would make it harder to qualify for SNAP, especially those with children. Action 7 News was at a town hall meeting tonight where tempers were high. Thousands of New Mexicans rely on SNAP benefits, commonly known as food stamps. But for many of those families, keeping food on the table may soon become a lot harder. The state wants to change what's required to get those food benefits. Adults without kids are already required to either have a job or prove they're actively looking for one. The new proposal also adds this to the list. People with children older than six and no job must do 80 hours of community service a month. It would apply to people between the ages of 16 to 60. People across the state are quickly standing up to oppose the changes, including dozens at a town hall meeting in Albuquerque. Adding this extra burden on them is going to give them less time with their family. It's going to put more money out of their pocket. Amber Diaz receives SNAP benefits. She has a son over the age of six, but the changes wouldn't affect her because she has a job, although she can't imagine how she'd survive if she didn't. I think that's really difficult, especially for a single mother. What if you don't have family here that can help you with your child? You're left with the decision, do I leave my seven-year-old at home? And that could put you in trouble with everybody here, you know, you can't leave a seven-year-old at home. Ours weren't the only cameras rolling during this meeting. Videos, photos, and paper plates signed by benefit users will be sent to the Human Services Department to protest the changes. Whether it works remains to be seen. People from all over the state will have a chance to voice their opinions next Friday at a public hearing with the Human Services Department in Santa Fe.